The following exercises are suitable for these prosthetic knee joints. Apart from that, always consider the user's physical condition. Gerhard learns the basics for walking downstairs. Three main points are crucial for the movement. The right placement of the foot, the loading of the prosthesis, the timing of the knee flexion. Depending on the shoe, either the heel or up to a maximum of half of the foot has to be in contact with the stair. The marking on the shoe can provide some orientation to Gerhard. Franziska guides the pelvis during the weight shift onto the prosthesis and thus she feels if the pelvis rotates. Going down a step is a good time to check if the stance flexion resistance is adjusted to Gerhard's needs. He should feel a good support and the movement should not be too fast or too slow. Alexander significantly changes the resistance so that Gerhard gets a feeling for how too much or too little resistance influences downstairs walking. That was too much resistance. Knee flexion is too slow and significantly harder. Gerhard feels insecure. That was not enough resistance. Knee flexion happens too fast. Gerhard doesn't feel any support and harshly lands on the left foot. Alexander changes the resistance back to the adequate value to provide sufficient support. The settings will be checked again later on the stairs. Franziska explains the behavior of the knee joint if Gerhard wants to step down while using the intuitive stance function. Gerhard activates the stance function by slightly bending the knee joint and keeping it still. As soon as the center of mass shifts forward, the stance function deactivates. Gerhard is able to walk downstairs as usual. Franziska guides the knee joint into slight flexion so that Gerhard feels he has to allow knee flexion. Gerhard doesn't shift his body weight onto the prosthesis and he already bends the knee joint before he takes the step down. When carried out in the right way, the body weight shifts while the prosthetic knee joint is extended and then bends as soon as Gerhard steps down. Gerhard pushes the residual limb in hip extension. The flexion of the knee joint is inhibited or happens too late. With her hand on the knee joint, Franziska feels if Gerhard allows knee flexion or if he works against it. Due to this, Franziska can provide appropriate support. Gerhard gets feedback regarding the right timing of the knee flexion. The upper body tilts forward, the residual limb works in extension and hampers knee flexion. If executed the right way, the upper body stays upright and the pelvis stays over the foot. Gerhard doesn't dare to bend the knee joint. He tries to reach the floor with the toes of his left foot. The heel sticks to the edge of the step and causes a risk of falling. As a short-term correction, Gerhard should aim to land on the heel of the contralateral foot. Incorrect placement of the foot is a common mistake. The foot can easily slip if it's placed too far forward. If it is placed too far back, the knee stays extended and stance release can be triggered accidentally. <laughs> 